Shalom, welcome to Tactically Torah. And yeah, New Hope Farmstead. Weird. He's weird. Whatever. What are we doing? Okay, so I've been out here slaving for hours. Um, getting the garden planted. Uh, hopefully the fence is going to be going this? up soon. Yes. And it's funny because it looks like barely anything has been done, but it's just because the plants are so small. What's all that over there? So we have corn in that corner. And this corner we have okra and squash and zucchini. Uh, in the middle we've got pole beans and cucumbers. Uh, some more beans, tomatillos, flowers, peppers, uh, ground cherries. There and melons. Um, there's a lot that still needs to be planted um, and everything's small. And yes, I know it is June, but we had just like last year, we moved. We had to right do a lot garden seasoning. To, seasoning to keep seasoning. these plants alive so that they'd be ready like to go into months. the garden. And then we're Feels like, like <laughs> it's freaking raining today. Let's, you need yeah. to get out there and plant. Yeah, so the fence should be She's going like, good idea. Now. Yeah, I was literally out here in the rain yeah. earlier today planting. Cool so. thing is, our RV is going to be, hey, see those poles over there? Very exciting. Right there, somewhere in that general vicinity. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to come out here, look at the garden, tend to it. I've got to run, uh, shoot, I've got to run water over there we've got a meter so i need to install a water spigot off the meter um that way we'll have plenty of water from there to here as well as as well as uh water to my rv so yeah it's getting pretty exciting we're pretty stoked about uh what's going on uh, another cool thing is, you know, a lot of people, it's not something that's really on a whole lot of people's radar, but they put the transformer on the other side of the road. So that's cool. We don't have to deal with like, you know, super close EMF field and such like that. We just have the meter that is closer. So that's going to be nice. That's going to be nice. Uh, let's see. What else have we got here? I just had bug bite my side so that was fun but anyways uh we're super stoked about finally getting things going over here super happy about you know we got a bunch of beans right there getting ready to go into the ground um and y'all you're you're all gonna have a bunch of updates on this especially if you go you know most of you are checking out my wife's channel, New Hope Farmstead, uh, as you should be, because she's going to be putting a lot of content on there regarding all of this. Um, unfortunately, her phone died, so we're using my phone right now, and this is going to go on my channel. Um, obviously, technically, Torah, so when you're watching this, uh, yeah, there you go. You're going to know it. Uh, so we've got flowers here flowers there um what are these babe cucumbers and vining melons like smaller melons okay so we're actually going to arch uh cattle panels right here eventually so that they can have a trellis um and if you didn't hear her those are cucumbers and these are okra we have 46 46 plants of okra, so that's going to be cool. 23 or 24 squash plants in the ground. Um, yeah, and none of you will ever know where any of this is. So, and I do mean ever. And then we have corn super super stoked like this is the first time lauren and i have ever had the opportunity to even grow corn each side is having four sunflowers 
Each side is going to have four sunflowers. Um, right here, we actually just put in the ground. Uh, you see the spacing there. And these are going to be more beans. I need ground cover. We do need a ground cover. Uh, we're going to have to spend some time. Uh, maybe we we can get ground cover like a whole bunch of mulch in the off season yeah. so that this place can just sit with mulch on it over the winter. I'd really love to like find someone with a wood chipper or something. And can you speak up? I just would love to find like a wood chipper, someone with a wood chipper, <laughs> just shred a tree and put it on here. <laughs> then we have some watermelons here um and are you what are these those are um just regular blisters okay oh so that's what that's what uh that tray is over there right yeah. very cool very cool and guys this is some really good high quality soil we were super impressed super uh well we'll be super impressed depending on how everything grows honey i am so confident in in this soil my goodness i'm just super happy to be here happy at the opportunity to be able to grow food for people you know oh, yeah. like just this is awesome so yeah there's your your little update on on what's going on over here. I gotta go get back to, oh, you can't see it very well. My hands are only a little dirty. I just got off of work. Lauren's hands and pants and, you know, she's just dirty. Yeah. <laughs> she's, just, she's a little muddy. Just a little bit. <laughs> it's awesome. You feel good? Yeah. This is like her sanctuary, but yeah, this is, uh, this is what we've got going on and oh yeah, I've got, after the meters installed, I've got to install my power box to accommodate my RV, which I've got a 50 amp, a 30 amp and two, uh, 120 receptacles at 20 amp um, that I can put over there. So that's just my boxes over there, but uh, I've got to take it from over there and move it over there, right there to the poles. So yeah, anyways, we've got a lot going on, a lot to get squared away. We're super humble that the opportunity, you know, somebody would open up their uh, their property and kind of take us on. And, you know, we really just want to be assets to our community, assets to uh, the people that's around us, you know, and, and really help grow food, you know, for the people that we love. So... That's what we're doing. And if you're not growing your own food, you're wrong. If you're not drinking moose run coffee, you're wrong. If you don't rock refuge medical gear, you're wrong. If you haven't taken any of refuge training, especially level three, you're wrong. <laughs> Honestly and seriously, on a serious note, refuge training their level three essential responder training which you cannot take unless you've already taken level one um it will save your life uh i'm not joking if it won't save your life it will give you the skill set and the capabilities uh to save another's life um so there's that and i'm just gonna go ahead and Stop talking to this sideways phone and go help my wife. Bless you guys and shalom.